choices. You refuse to accept the obvious and go with option number two. What are the odds that this guy and I are going to have a kid that finds a cure to cancer? 50-50. There's <laughs> <laughs> a 50-50 chance that this guy and I are going to go out, get married, have a kid, and our kid will find a cure to cancer or find a solution to world peace? Either it will happen or it won't. Where I come from, that's 50%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Let's say we do go out. We get married. We have a kid that finds a cure to cancer and, wor and world peace. Now, there are going to be less people dying. The world gets overpopulated from people left over that didn't get killed by cancer or world wars, all natural resources get depleted, and the entire human race gets snuffed out, all because I chose your option and go with option number two. You're kidding yourself, because from all the people who would be saved from cancer or world peace, which your kid figure out a way to come up with, by the way, odds are that one of them would have figured out a way to colonize the moon or Mars or someplace, thereby reducing the world's population. Okay, fine. <laughs> Suppose we do go out and we hate each other. We're like two co-workers who casually spend time with each other as friends because there's no pressure. But the second we're in a potentially romantic situation, we realize how much we can't stand each other. So now this great friendship gets destroyed along with any decent memory of any great moment we've had together. Great memory getting ruined. I'm talking about saving millions. <laughs> Suppose we go further. Suppose we hate each other so much we drive each other nuts. We totally hate each other so much that in the restaurant we attack each other. Oh, come on. No, Mr. Worst Case Scenario, this gets bad. We get into a physical altercation, and we're fighting each other so much that we crash into another table for a couple trying to enjoy their romantic dinner sitting, and we ruin their evening. They're so upset that they never speak to each other again. And if it hadn't been for my stupid date, which should have never happened in the first place, these two would have gone on to get married, become president and first lady, and in their time in the Oval Office, completely brought an end to global climate change through alternative energy. How is he going to become president? He's from Toronto. Not my date, hers. <laughs> No, he's American. He was born in Arkansas. You know that. That shouldn't matter. She should become president. How about that? Your assumption is he when I'm saying she would, and they would have a child in the office. That would have found a cure to cancer too late. Your kid should have already done that. Their kid would have invented cold fusion. How about this? One night when I'm out with...